back with our first tinker in Tuesday for a while. Nice to get back into the swing of things. So this one is a carryover from last Sunday's video and we're going to strip out the final drive unit of Deborah, see how broken it is. So our first job is going to be we need to strip this out now, take the brakes out, take the shaft out, take the hub reduction out and work out what is broken. Hoping for not too much. Listen, the background's on the BV, putting some railways on for us. So the final drive unit itself is often referred to as a trumpet. But the drive shaft coming out this end. Input from the differential from this side. This is the inboard brakes. They're oil filled. And activate a rod down here that applies them. So we need to take the brake car carrier off first, which is a ring of bolts around here. I'm recording. It. So now I've got the brake assembly off, once we clean that up I'll show you how that goes together and how that works. We've discovered some more damage. I've got teeth laying there, I've got a whole tooth missing here, I've got teeth missing all over the sun, all over the spider gears. Yeah, so we pulled this shaft out, you can see we chipped here, chipped a lot of the ends. So that is going to need replacing. Last plate out. This should be Loctited. One of them was. We should then be able to leave out this gear here.
now that the, the middle gear carrier is out, you can really see the cracks and spider cracks sending everywhere inside that trumpet. So why do we, why is it done what it's done? So from what I can work out, I can see is once that's cracked and pulled the housing apart, pieces of the cast iron or cast steel that the housing's made of have dropped in, and as the gears have been going around a mission, you've got two hard bits. With the cast being slightly softer, it's just chipped and chunked the gears, which are super hard and hard wearing, but makes them slightly brittle. Right, so time to get some bits. Now we know what's broken and how broken it really is, which is not what we wanted to see. So we've got a tractor breaker up the road from here that generally has most stuff on the shelf. And actually, if you've watched the original Channel 4 documentary, that is where the back axle originally come from, out of a Whitlock digger. So we've been to him and the best he had was in skip. And less than ideal. But we'll have that back. There's a port thing you got to do, Leo, look. Yeah. Grab hold of it. No, the, the axle. Oh. Give it a wiggle. Now you have to say, that ain't going anywhere. That ain't going anywhere. Right, that's loaded that up That ain't now. going nowhere. Until you do that, it's not loaded up. <laughs> well, it is. That's got a force to beat it. We are particularly struggling to find the pieces we need to uh, put this back together. So welcome in broken half shaft housing number two. I've never seen one of these broken before, and now, and now I've got two. But this gear has seen better days. But we'll clean it up and see if there's anything we can, we can do with it, and get this stud out. They wouldn't want out of two nuts. We've just welded nuts to them, but they have been coming out right. It's part of them all over the floor, but they are coming out. Right, so you join us inside Tinkering HQ. We're literally editing the video as we speak in the background there. Now, we're going to have to change this video to part one and part two. Part one being disassembly and then part two, rebuilding. I lost so much footage from this. Um, a part of the rebuilding, a lot of the explanations, a lot of the close-up shots, there's some really intricate stuff, especially in that gear carrier in the middle, and I've just found it all. So rather than make a, a not-so-good video, we're going to hold out. There will be a part two, which we don't like doing, but it will make for a much better video on the rebuild. For context, we are one minute to Tuesday. Yes, this is one minute till Tuesday. And, uh, well, in four hours, we jump in our hire van and go everywhere. everywhere in the country, picking up bits and pieces. So we do need some sleep. So, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everyone. <laughs>